Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hope you're doing great. Oh my goodness, it is so hot here in Alabama. We have had a lot of heat. And so our grands have been here, so we've been going to the pool and the splash pads. We have been having so much fun. But I wanted to throw together just a really quick meal tonight for our family. And um, this is one of Daryl's favorites, and it's just baked spaghetti. Um, you will find it in my cute little cookbook. It is on page 23. So if you have my cookbook, you are welcome to follow, al follow along. All right, I've already preheated my oven to 350. Um, and what I also have done is I have already cooked my meat. So you're just gonna need either a pound of hamburger or I like to use sausage, ground sausage, in a lot of my dishes because I think it just adds a little bit more flavor. So I already cooked my meat and then you're going to need a jar of spaghetti sauce. And one of our favorites is this Newman's Own Saccaroni. It is so good. Can you see that? All right. It's just got a lot of flavors in it. And you know, Daryl loves spice and all the things. So this has peppers, spices, and the whole shebang is what it actually says. So I've added the sauce to my meat. Now, the other thing that you're gonna need is just a pound of spaghetti. I have already cooked that. It is ready and you're just going to need some cheese, all right? Okay, so we're just gonna put it together. So I'm just going to put my meat and my sauce in my big old bowl. And then I'm gonna add my spaghetti that has already been cooked. So I'm gonna add this. And one of the things that I do, um, I'm sure so many of you guys do this too, but when I actually, am, when I boiled my water and when I'm putting my noodles in, I don't put them in whole. I actually break them into thirds because I've always had little kids around and I just think it makes it my life easier because they don't have these big, huge noodles. So that's what I did with this. Now, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna mix this in. Okay. Again, this is just one of Daryl's, oh my goodness, his favorite, favorite thing. He loves spaghetti. And what's gonna be super fun is he is going to do a recipe in July. There's National Hot Dog Days coming up in July. So he's gonna do something fun with hot dogs. Can't wait for you guys to see that. You guys have shown him all the love with his dump cakes. He loves those things. All right, you wanna really pull up from the bottom and get that sauce really mixed in with your noodles. Now, of course, if you wanna add more things to your sauce, you can do that. You know, if you like mushrooms and if you like green pepper or onion, you can make this as fancy as you want it, but you know me. The whole reason why I love to make these videos is I just want to show you guys simple, simple recipes that are delicious and easy to put together. Okay, it's all mixed up. Now, all you're going to do, I've got my casserole dish here. So many of you asked me about this particular casserole dish, and it is made by Good Cook. And Good Cook, I have only been able to find it at Publix but I love it. And they have like several different things that are made from Good Cook. So that's where I found it. All right, so you're just gonna spray your nine by 13. And we're just gonna take half of this and put it in this dish, in the, in the casserole dish. Okay, you're gonna spread this out. And pack it down just a little bit and then you're going to add you need two cups of mozzarella so I'm going to use half of this bag just put this over the top of course if you want to add more cheese you can if you think your family would really like a lot more cheese you can okay and then I'm going to 
just put the rest of this over the top. And you can see it makes a lot. And it will be so good as a leftover. Oh my goodness, I love I love all the pasta stuff the next day. It's just delicious. Okay. And then you just put the rest of this over the top. I'm going to sprinkle this over the top. And that's it. I'm going to put it in the oven probably at least for 20 minutes. It might be a little bit longer. And I'm just going to be watching it. Um, until it gets a little bit bubbly. All right, so let me stick it right in here. Set my timer, I'm gonna set it for 20 minutes. And I will be back. This baked spaghetti has come out of the oven. I um, baked it for about 20 minutes and it looks amazing. I can't wait to taste it. I know it's gonna be delicious. Daryl is going to love it. And I don't know very many people that don't like spaghetti. So this is a great thing to serve if you have company or you have family. So I'm gonna put this over here. Look at that cheese. So good. All right. Whoops, I about lost my spoon. Hard to eat spaghetti, isn't it? Mmm. That is absolutely delicious. And that sausage in there made that taste, mm, it just tastes so good. A lot of flavor to that. Okay. You guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I appreciate you so much watching me. And oh my goodness, so many of you guys share everything that we're doing. That just goes a long way. So thank you, thank you for doing that. I just wanna remind you about, if you prefer to watch things on YouTube, I'm over on YouTube at Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen. You can look me up on Instagram. Um, we're on Pinterest, all the things. So I love you. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Remember to be stronger every day and also know that you can do hard things. Take care everyone. I will see you next time.